Hello everyone! Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited to finally be doing this. And for my first video, I thought I would do a haul since I just got home from London like a week ago. And I bought a lot of stuff. Like, I bought way too much makeup and like, way too many skincare products. And so I thought, why not do a haul as my first video? So I get the things kind of rearranged into categories. So I'm going to start first with food. We mainly bought candy because some of the sweets you get in the UK you just don't get here in Austria. So I took a lot of them with me. So first of all, I bought a Twinkie. It's just it's a little damaged <laughs> from my suitcase. And my boyfriend already tried it and he said it's pretty good. So definitely gonna try it out soon. <laughs> Next up, we got some chocolate. Four Belgian milk chocolate chunk cookies uh, from Sainsbury. I think it's called Saint Sainsbury's because I always pronounce it wrong. And I'm sorry if you hear any noises from the outside. My windows on my right side, and they built a mall right in front of my house, like right in front of my window. So if you hear any noises, I'm sorry. I'm getting some things from trucks um, just because they have the grand opening next week. So they have to do. Everything last minute, I have the feeling, so please, I'm sorry for it. Okay, so yeah, and I haven't tried them as well, but definitely gonna try them out. I think half of the cookies are already broken because I can hear that they're not whole anymore. <laughs> then I bought some digestive, digestive classic caramel milk chocolate digestive with a layer of caramel and I love everything that has to do with chocolate and caramel so I thought I'd give them a try then I have Nestle Butterfingers and I heard a lot of people rave about them that they're so good it's crispy tea, crunchy tea, peanut buttery and I love peanut butter, I love chocolate with nuts in it especially peanut butter but Funny enough, I don't like peanut butter on its own, like I like it with Nutella or on a bread, but I don't like peanut butter on its own, it's, it's weird. Then I have sneakers with peanut butter, a gown with peanut butter. Um, those are four pieces, they're square, and they were £249. Then we got some Cadbury Dairy Milk Oreo peanut butter flavour. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Oreos in general. I mean, I like Oreo ice cream, but the cookies, I used to like them more than I do now. But with the peanut butter, I'm definitely very excited to try them out. The last thing I got is whole roasted hazelnut toffee. And as you can see, and it is a little, it's a little weird also because it got squished in my suitcase. Okay, so next I'll start with the skincare. We went to Boots and I heard that Boots is good for skincare and for makeup and I was like, okay, you know, I think it's just regular drugs. I mean, I was excited because I knew that Great Britain had some other brands that I hadn't even heard of yet. And I did my research and I found a lot of brands and a lot of places I wanted to go. Here's going to be a short disclaimer. My channel will mainly be focused on drugstore products just because I'm still a student, I'm going to start university in two weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that. And I'm also going to start to work in the next week, so I definitely want to save up so I can afford more high end things. I want to try out so many products, like I want to try out different brands, but at the moment I just can mainly afford drugstore products. So this is what my channel will mainly be, a drugstore channel where I will do hauls, tutorials, like what a regular beauty blogger does, but I wouldn't count myself as a beauty blogger, so just, you know, what the regular beauty channels do. We went into Boots and I was like, I was stoked. I spent like 45 minutes in the Boots because I was like, okay, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that. <laughs> and my boyfriend was like, oh my god, where can I just sit down and let her do her thing? There were so many new products and so much to see and just so much I wanted to try out and I really 
bought a lot there. And I also bought a lot of Superdrug because I read that Superdrug has a lot of stuff as well as Boots does. And I loved both of the stores. And I'm so glad that Boots is also shipping to Austria because there are definitely products that I really want to try out. But I just couldn't fit any more into my suitcase, which was a big problem as well. So before I talk 200 years, I'm just going to show you the skincare products I bought. So first of all I bought Soap and Glory Scrub Your Nose in it, Special Pore Refining Formula, AHA Facial Scrub. It has U2 Super Fruit Blend in it and it just should clean your skin of all the impurities that you have. And I think it's super cute because it says on the back, Soap and Glory products. I test it on very picky people. I'm also very picky when it comes to my skincare routine or to my makeup because I don't like everything they have. Um, for example, Clarisil. I tried Clarisil so many times because I've never had the perfect skin. And I started to get pimples in a very early age. Like, right when puberty hit me, I was like, whoosh. I had blemishes and pimples all over my face. And I tried Clarisil and it just it broke me out even more. I, I really don't like that brand, so I definitely stay away from that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it looks. It's just a white bottle with the Soap and Glory logo on here. And on the back it says basically the same thing that the packaging does. I have high hopes for this thing. Then next I bought a T-Zone. I, I think the brand is called T-Zone. A charcoal and bamboo deep cleansing face scrub. Mineral oil free. Deep cleanses pores from impurities for clear skin. And you should use it twice a week I guess. Mm, no it doesn't say here. So yeah, I bought this at Superdrug. Next thing I got is Clean and Clear uh, Blackhead Clearing Tea in One Wash and Mask. I mainly bought it for the mask effect because I'm addicted. I'm addicted to masks, I'm addicted to makeup, and simple as that. No, but I really hope that those things help me get rid of my blackheads and just, you know, clean my skin up a little. Then I bought a simple clear skin oil balancing facial scrub with witch hazel. Um, it says it's antibacterial and 64% less blackheads in 7 days. So then I bought a quick fix facials exfoliating scrub mask, blackheads and blocked pores. <laughs> so it's with pink rose clay. Uh, glycolic acid and pomegranate extract. Then also bought from Quick Fix Facials uh, the anti blemish mud mask for oily and spot prone skin, which I definitely have. Like I get really oily here in my T zone, especially on my forehead. But maybe this will help to control it a little more. Then I bought also from Simple. It's a kind to eyes soothing eye balm. And it's just for tired eyes, it's to reduce puffiness and to relax the eyes. And I bought tea tree and witch hazel foaming face wash. Uh, just because they had the thing, buy three, only pay two. And I got a little overwhelmed with that thing. So that's why I bought so much of the makeup as well. Because it was just cheaper if I took three products. I got the facial wash. Then I also bought the cleansing and toning lotion and that was uh, the tea tree witch hazel with active charcoal. It's just an intense deep cleanse facial mask that should detoxify my skin. And then last but not least I bought two masks. I bought um, the L'Oreal uh, Pure Clay Purity Mask. It purifies and mattifies with three pure clays and eucalyptus I don't know how to pronounce it I'm so sorry and yeah I thought I just bought that one because I went to Boots a second time because I was like you know I can't find those masks anywhere in a drugstore near me I wanted to buy another one of them I think I wanted to buy the, the grey one and I was like okay I'm not quite sure which one I have so just take that one now I got two of the masks <laughs> I just bought the same mask again, but I'm gonna give one to my mom. Also in Superdrug, they had 
another sale, like you could buy three masks and we have to pay two of them. And since we went to two different super drugs, I bought six masks. Got the super fruit and exfoliating mask, it's just in, like in those little packages. I actually bought that one two times. Then I bought the orange and black lava exfoliating mask. Then I bought a black seaweed peel off mask. Then I bought a Dead Sea purifying clay mask with witch hazel and willow bark extract. And then last I got a distressing mop mask. I also went to Pixie. Then I got the Best of Brides package just with the Glow Mud Cleanser with the Glow Tonic and the Glow Mud Mask and I bought this thing here for £20 which I think is a very good price since you get free products for your last thing I bought the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponges I definitely don't have the original Beauty Blender because I'm not willing to pay 20 bucks for a little sponge that I would have to throw away after 3 months now we move on to the makeup and I'm so 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 excited for that part and it's so cute at Superdrug they gave me that little bag it says Goss like a boss I got from Barry and the In The Glow Tahitian body oil and it just looks like that I think it looks like the NARS one and I was like you know it would be so pretty on a shelf next I bought the Ruma London Match Perfection um, Invisible Coverage with the matching concealer. I bought the foundation in in one or two light nudes. Then I also bought the matching concealer 030 classic base. So then I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I also went into Kiko. So I bought mascara. It's a luxurious lashes waterproof mascara. I'm usually not a huge fan of waterproof mascara. I really wanted to try it out and it was only £3.50. I bought that one in Boots. It's the number 7 Midnight Lash for spectacular volume. I have to say I mainly bought it for the packaging because it just looks so classy with the black and the silver sparkles on here. They also had it in red and blue and I actually wanted to buy the other two as well but they were £10 each and I ran out of money so I was like, you know, screw it I can still order it online though Also from Barry M I got the Dazzle Dust in bronze it's just a very coppery, bronzy color and the Glitter Rush Body Glitter in Aquamarine it's just a turquoise I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. And yeah, they also had the deal here. Buy three, pay two, and I got the glitter fixer gel as well. Then I bought from Mina an eyeshadow. It's it's called the eyeshadow in 107, and it just looks like that. It's a little square package. I actually bought Mina in when I was in Malta that year. So I'm gonna, just gonna swatch the Mina eyeshadow. As you can see, it's just very, very pretty matte orange. Then moving on, I also got this Bright Quartet by Kiko as well. I got a little carried away in Kiko. It's just a very nude palette that I really adore. And and as you can see, the Kiko eyeshadows look a little chalky because they are at least the darkest one. I have to play around with them a little more to tell how they feel on the eyes. And the next thing is, I think it's going to be my holy grail. And it's the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I was so, so excited when I bought it. I love this palette. I, I fell in love when I first saw it and I knew I had to have it and now I do and it's actually the first thing I bought from Urban Decay. Moving on to the lips. I'm a little lipstick junkie. So in Harrods my boyfriend got me a MAC lipstick. It's called Deep Rooted. It's a matte one. It's just a greyish color as you can see and also think this color is very, very beautiful. I bought some lipsticks at Kiko as well. I bought this little thingy here. It looks kind of like a bullet. And it is called Velvet Passion. It's also a matte lipstick. And it's squared. It's, so it's, it has a very good shape just to 
applied on your lips. Since the color is very fallish, it's just a dark brown and I love tones like that. The next lipstick I bought at Kiko is this little square lipstick. Uh, it's called Smart. It's a fusion lipstick. It looks just like a regular lipstick. It's a kind of a dusty, brownish, mauve color. And the Kiko lipsticks also smell very, very good. Then I got the third Kiko lipstick. It's called... Oh, it's just called Metal Lipstick. It's just a very pretty, purpley, metallic, rose lipstick. I'm so bad at describing colors, guys. And the last Kiko lipstick I got is this little thing here. It's called um, Gossamer Emotion. I don't know what Gossamer means, but okay. And it's so cool. Like it, It's mag magnetic and you pop on the little button here and then the lipstick opens. Like. And it's just a very, very nice, bright red, perfect for a bold lip, perfect to wear on an evening out, and it's just a nice matte lip color. Then I also got a nude lip liner at Kiko, it's called 533, and as you can see it's just a nude colored lip liner. So and then the last lip product I bought, it was actually set by Makeup Revolution. It's called Glory and you have a liquid lipstick with the matching lip liner. It's also called Glory. I like brown tones, especially for the fall. And this liquid lipstick and this lip liner are just perfect for it. So now I'm going to move on to highlighters, which is actually the last part of this video from a gorgeous glow, it's a blush block and it kind of reminded me of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick but even though it's a blush, I'm gonna use it as a highlight because I really don't use blush that often and it has some shimmers in it so it's definitely a highlighter for me the next two highlighters I bought were from Makeup Academy just those undress your skin shimmer highlighters and I definitely do have a lot of shimmer in them so if you're not a huge fan of shimmer highlighters, I wouldn't recommend them for you. This one is called Ice Sparkle. The one right next to it is called Iridescent Gold. They're both pretty gorgeous colors. They were only three pounds each and I should have bought the rest of them as well. The last four highlighters I bought were from Makeup Revolution and the first one is just this huge um, Skin Kiss highlighter. It's called Ice Kiss. Highlight is just one of the most intense highlights I've ever tried. Stunning, it's gorgeous, I love it. The last three I have are also from Makeup Revolution. They're called the Strobe Highlight. The highlight itself reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier one. Same goes here, I should have bought all of them. The first one is called Rejuvenate. It's just this brownish, sparkling, goldy highlighter. Then the one next to it is called Gold Addict, it's just a pure gold highlight. And the last one is called Flash, it's a very icy white shimmery highlighter. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button right underneath my video. Until then, see you next time, bye guys!